Hey everyone, your friendly neighborhood cat is back with another Sims 4 house building video. So in the beginning here, when I start out with the basic layout of the Big Brother house, it like, I don't know, it's a little bit choppy. Of course I did speed it up and I didn't feel like going through and editing all the tiny little like pieces and things. Um, so I just kind of left it the way it is. But the reason why it's so choppy is because I was looking at a photo of the Big Brother house and I do already have a Big Brother house uploaded on the gallery, but I thought it would be fun to build one and put it on YouTube and show you guys what it was like building it. So this will be version 2 when I put it up on the gallery. Um, but yeah, so I had like pictures and images of my first one and then of real the real Big Brother US houses. Of course, every year is different. Um, and I had to kind of count how big the rooms are, so it took me a little like quite a long time to get the room shaped down but yeah and then we go out to the backyard fit in a nice little pool here like I said a couple seconds ago every year it's different so this upcoming year which is coming very very shortly I think it's on like June 12th or the 22nd I don't actually know the exact date it's in my phone somewhere but yeah it is coming up super quick to the new season of Big Brother um and every year the house looks pretty different from the previous years. Some years it's really modern, some years it's like over the top. But I think the general consensus is it is a lot more crazier than the way I do it. This one especially is very muted. I think the last Big Brother house I did was a little bit more crazy, had some themes to it. But yeah, I kept it really simple with this one. And now I'm just working on the shower areas. I couldn't get the initial... Um, fencing to work. I wanted these little gates there to kind of look neat, but yeah, I guess I could have made the gates higher and put in a double gate or something that may have looked neat. I kind of wish I did that now. And we do have an upper floor with the, I guess, HOH room. Um, I'm not sure what it's called in other Big Brothers. I really only watch like Big Brother USA. Big Brother Canada, I do enjoy sometimes. But I just kind of got into it, so now I'm just re-watching the seasons, I don't know, from the very beginning. And it's a lot, like, different. Like, way different. There's many more twists and turns, I find, in the old seasons of Big Brother Canada versus the old seasons of Big Brother USA. So I do recommend watching a couple different ones. Maybe when I'm finished watching all of the Big Brother seasons, well, Big Brother US and Big Brother Canada... I'll watch the Australian one. I've heard that one's really good. One of my friends was telling me about it. I think it's the Australian one. I assume they have their own, and I think that's what he was talking about. Um, and now I'm just trying to get... I wanted almost... Like, you know those middle fencing things? Not really fencing, but it's like... I don't know, vertical columns? <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Um, but it's almost like gutters or something like that. Like a... Oh my goodness, this is embarrassing. I used to work it for a roofing company, so I should sh know what this is called. Um, your... Oh my goodness, why can't I think of the name? Anyways, it's like the flat board that sits, like, around your house, um, that your gutter is kind of attached to, but I was trying to get that on the inside so it would cover the fact that it looked a little bit awkward where that one beam was matching up with the top floor. So yeah, that was a nice little, one of my amazing long-winded discussions. I also couldn't fit that little fence on there. For some reason, it just wouldn't let me do that. It wasn't wanting to work or snap, so that was annoying. And I do go with a darker tile in the backyard. Once I turned it on tonight, it just looked better than the gray, so. And I think I do kind of mute these colors out, and I don't go with, like, as crazy of colors, but... Let me know what you guys think about this house in the comments below. This will be another three-part series, and tomorrow I'll be uploading the final part of my graveyard build, so stay tuned for that if you wanted to see the final end of it, and I will be throwing them all into a little category for you guys. And I think what I might do different about this one is at the end of me finishing building it, which will be in three parts, like I said. Um, I'll do a little Big Brother walkthrough, so if you don't feel like watching all of these videos, I mean, all together it's like 40 minutes long, then, or 30 minutes long, yeah, 30 minutes long, then you can just watch that and get the gist of it. It will just kind of be like a quick little, I'm hoping, under five minute video, just walking through the house, and I don't even know if I'll be talking, I haven't quite decided, but I thought that would be fun. 
Um, I do have another house project that I'm coming on from a TV show. I will give you guys a hint. I do have it already up on my gallery from, like, I did it about a year ago, and now I've just decided that I want to redo it and do it with you guys. So I am going to be doing that on the channel coming up. I'm sure if you guys have checked out my gallery, you will know what I'm talking about. Um, and yeah, we'll be putting another version up on the gallery. I won't go too into detail about it, but yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm trying to put some cheat codes in here and they weren't, I don't know, for some reason it just wasn't my day to type things. I just couldn't get that right. Um, and the backyard, I tried to put, like, a couple neat things to take your eyes around. I did want to give it that really modern feel, but I don't think I went too over the top with this one. My original one, I went kind of over the top, but I'm sure many people have done Big Brother houses in The Sims, and theirs have probably been way more over the top than mine, so... But I would love to see any other creations of Big Brother houses. I tried to look on the gallery, but I couldn't find any. The gallery for me is a really hit and miss, whether it works or whether it doesn't. I don't know why, but I go to look for something and it sometimes just glitches out and doesn't show up with anything. So I don't know why it's like that. And I know sometimes if you unclick like the Maxis curated ones, which is a really obvious thing, but if you unclick that, then it shows you more options. But I did have that unclicked, so I'm not really sure. And yeah, just kind of getting a little work in area, work out area. I guess you could call it a work in area though, considering they never leave the house. And getting the pool together, I put that cute little light in there from The Sims 4 Spa Day, and I put some lights at the bottom. Oh no, I didn't. I thought I ended up doing um, decorations around the flower, but I guess not. Um, one thing, of course, that I put a ton of in the house are those mirrors. They come from Get to Work, so they're definitely not a base game item. They do come from an expansion pack, and I threw those all throughout the house. I decided not to do any, like, backstage things. Eventually, I would like to, um, go through and kind of, I guess, like, I don't know, edit the house, in a sense. I mean, not edit it. What am I saying? I... I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I was just thinking about editing this video, and then I was like, all right, um, but I would like to eventually play with Sims in this house and maybe do a series or something, like a Big Brother series. That might be cool, but not for a little while. I have a ton of stuff on the go already, so I'm not really sure when that will be happening, but um, what else was I going to say about the backyard? I think that's everything. I only really work on the backyard and the kitchen in this first part, so. So if you're wanting to see the other parts, like how I built the other rooms, obviously those will be in the next parts of this video. I do make that little counter. It's very similar to the one that they have in Big Brother US in their kitchen, so. I know that um, The Sims Supply also, like, he also has another channel named James Turner. He's doing one of these as well, and if you'd like to see, like, a series where they actually build it in real time, definitely go and check it out. I'll link it down below. It's pretty cool to watch somebody build a big brother house. He is not modeling it after any other big brother houses that exist. He's just kind of doing his own thing and creating his own style of Big Brother house, which is pretty wicked. I've watched a few of those and it looks really cool. He, uh, he decided to put all the camera alleys and stuff in, which I didn't do, so. I just kind of left that out. The kitchen, and I feel like the whole house is very modern. I put a lot of golds and, like, rose gold kind of things, lighter wood colors, white flooring, it's just kind of what I did. And then I made this so that it just lines up and looks a little bit more square. And I think I changed the color of flooring in a couple rooms to switch it up a bit. And I evened out the little eating area so it didn't look awkward or weird. One thing about building a Big Brother house is if you put in all the alleyways and all like the camera crew rooms, uh, when the walls are like halfway up so that you can actually see the sims inside it's like really weirdly it just looks really weird and you can't see the wall decorations so i thought that it wouldn't be the best idea to put camera way or alleyways and camera ways in 
Um, but let me know what you guys think. If I should have put alleyways and cameras in. In the first one, I didn't do that either, so I felt like maybe I should do it for this one, but at the end of the day, I just kind of decided against it and just went with what I initially thought of, which was just not adding it in. I don't, like, I mean, it's kind of an unnecessary thing to add all that. It does look really cool in the end, and it's super fun to build, but, I mean, it's just not, like, you can't use it or anything, so it's a little bit pointless, and I'd much rather build something else than kind of do something pointless that you guys may or may not even like. So, that's where my head was at for this build. I put in these rock walls every once in a while, and I think I put the have not room in rock walls, which you will probably see in part two of this mini series. I love this table. It has like that gold leg. I'm really glad I put that in. Although, like the wooden table did look really good, but I just thought this one looked a little bit cuter. I would definitely put that in my house as my island, so. I hope the sound isn't weird for you guys. I'm actually at my new house now. I finally got all moved in, so that's why a video wasn't up yesterday, and that's why it's late and going up today. I will still have three videos up this week for you guys, so don't be afraid or worried. Not that you would be, but I will have three videos up this week. I just um, was busy unpacking and moving, and I broke my TV, which was really disappointing. So I've just been dealing with that right now. But yeah, I... Uh, didn't have a video up yesterday, so I'm getting it up today. I'm throwing in the last kind of parts of the main room. Like the, they always have a seating area where they announce the um, people that are going up on the block. But kept it really simple in there too. I know in the real Big Brother, it's a pretty crazy room. I feel like everything is pretty crazy, especially in the American Big Brother. And season two of the Canadian one, they made it, like, almost, like, I'd almost consider it sim-like because it's a little bit unrealistic, but The Sims 4 is super realistic. Well, in my opinion, is super realistic. Like, you can't really do any anything too, too crazy, but. And I tried to upscale those, but they just didn't look right, so I think I just, I end up using those, but I also put in chairs as well so it didn't look so awkward and that people could sit in there during the day when they weren't doing the HOH and the nomination ceremony. Um, but yeah, we're getting into the last second of this video. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye, guys! Um, and now I'm just trying to get, I wanted almost, like, you know those middle fencing things? Not really fencing, but it's like...